This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. There are two modelers that I think are in contention for probably the most underrated that I can think of. One is the Boss GX100, which I'm obviously doing a video with here. The other is the Hotone Amperu Stomp 2. Now, I just want to show you what is possible with the GX100, just because I've been messing around with it today, and there's one small problem with what I'm going to show you, and that is actually this. So if you listen to this preset, what we can do with the Boss GT GX100 type stuff is change the types of effects with foot switches. Um, so amp one type here is actually a Vox style and amp two type I believe is going to the natural. So if you just listen though, it essentially kills our trails even though I've got carryover and trails on. Um, now I'm not sure why that would be, and it's a little bit annoying, if you listen when I turn off delay 3 and 4, you can hear there is carry over there, right? Or there should be. Um, and if I also, I can probably assign the reverb to that, but that's the one problem that I found. I'm going to maybe send boss an email and check whether that's what we should expect. But for instance, if I had an OD type here, which I've also got changing, that also kills the trail. Um, that's the one issue that I found with the, the GX100 here. But what is really cool about this is that you can change the type. So within the same kind of preset, I've got all this going on. So we've got 
an OD which can either be the Blues OD or um, the Tube Screamer. I've got the Amp which can either be the Amp or the Natural. Uh, so actually here's the Blues Driver and the Tube Screamer. Um, I've got a delay plus and a delay plus here. Now that is doing like a, a slap back delay which is throwing things stereo um, and then yeah basically is giving us that unholdsworth thing. I've got a Terra Echo here which is kind of like a freeze effect the way that I've got it set up because on this foot switch here for um, basically it turns on the Terra Echo and then turns on the trigger. But you see switching these types also kills that. So it's a slightly frustrating situation. Because it would almost be incredibly clever if we could change those types and maintain trails. So let me just try. So we've got like our freeze effect there, which we could play over. And we can come out to our, our main view here. You can see I've got a looper here if I need it. Um, basically, it's like a ditto for this. Stop and clear. And then that's our freeze there. And yeah. So it's, it's really pretty cool. Uh, that was what I was using for the introduction there. So I'm, you can change basically any of these foot switches to do anything. You just go into the control expression. Um, yeah, so it's really clever. I just wish it would fix that one issue um, because it's really cool to be able to change amp types or effect types within. <laughs> Other thing I really like about it versus the GT1000 or Core is that we've got complete freedom to use whatever blocks we like, DSP depending, of course. So I've got one, two, three, four, five delay blocks in here, one reverb, a looper, uh, an amp, you know, one EQ if I need it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really pretty cool. I'll send out that email and see what they come back with um, just because I think this could be a real contender for one of those kind of uh, dark horse situations where it's not necessarily a, a, a modeler that you see tons of people doing videos with, but has some real clever capabilities that um, not all of the rest have. You know, you can do dual lamping with it. You can do like the channels changing thing like you can do in the fractal world. Um, you can do a version of kind of snapshots sort of uh it's really quite a clever little device especially for the money i'll catch you in another video soon let me know your thoughts if you found a workaround for this particular thing i still think it's pretty underrated and whether or not you need those trails uh, or totally seamless things happening um let me know your thoughts in the comments i'll catch you in another video soon the thing is if you change if you keep everything in these like the chain order the same then you can actually switch between presets seamlessly so if i had like the amp type staying or, or the whole preset chain being the same but just that amp type changing between presets i could maintain those trails i think so it's a bit strange that it goes away within the same preset just doing a type change so i'll find out an answer to that or i'll try catch you in another video soon cheers for now just to be really clear, this um, is the same preset with the types changing. Um, and in this second preset here, if I set these two, so this is changing the types to be exactly the same as in the other preset, 
you hear that preserves the trail. So I think changing amp type and possibly changing OD type can interrupt the trail. So I guess that's worth knowing. The, the trail carryover thing is not totally clear, sorry, what preserves trails and what interrupts them. I don't know if there's a hard and fast answer to this. I've looked at the manual and I looked at some other bits and pieces. I'll send boss an email and see what they come back with, but at the moment that seems to be something that's Like that's clearly interrupting the trail even though the delays and everything stays the same all that's changing is the amp one type and OD type and if I keep them the same by pressing these two on this one that trail is preserved which is interesting to me so it's not clear to me I think changing either the amp type or the OD type will interrupt the trail for this specific preset. I don't know why that would be a bit strange, but still a great unit.